So I'm just going to show you a quick little video on carving the bowl of a kaksa. Um, I'll show you the tools they use, how long it takes. Uh, this is carving from English walnut. And so stay tuned and see how it's done. Hey everybody, I just wanted to videotape um, hollowing out a, a kaksa bowl. Um, I'm going to be using a 2 inch gouge. Very simple. I was actually only using this before. And then, uh, so I'm going to do the bulk of material with the gouge, and then I'm going to use my Nick Westerman. This is a 65 millimeter uh, Tuka cam, however you say it. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to see like, um, you know, how long it actually uh, takes. It's kind of like a little bit. This video is a little bit for me and a little bit for you. Um, I can't say I'm the best at describing everything that I'm doing, <clears throat> but if I can think of something to share, I'll do so. Because I know that. Uh, I'm sure there's many ambitious guys that want to carve a kaksa, but um, it might seem too intimidating. So, so all I got here is this is a piece of English walnut. Uh, I don't have any birch. Uh, it'd be nice to carve with some right now, but uh, English walnut does very good. So it's just uh, in the vise, pretty tight. Um, as you can see, it's, it's sticking out pretty far, and my table's a little crappy. So I got um, just a block underneath, and this keeps uh, the vise pretty pretty solid. So. Um, yeah, just kind of watch and uh, yeah, like I said, if I can think of anything, um, I will share. So my first step is to uh, to just take out a little bowl at the center. Then then I go, I leave maybe like a an eighth or a, a sixteenth around the whole rim. And this is to prevent just any uh, pieces blown off that you don't want. So the first few uh, first few minutes of carving this, you kind of got to be careful because yeah, you just you don't want your whole piece to uh, to fly apart and to take a huge chunk of something off that you don't want. So what I end up doing a lot is uh, <clears throat> I'm holding it just like this, the gouge, and um, it's just kind of like a levering action. You you gotta uh, try and take off, you know, a thin shaving. It's not just like gouge and keep gouging. It's it's kind of think of it like a plane. You just want to take a consistent shaving off. Um, and uh, yeah, so two hands, just very steady. Um, keep control of your tool and uh, you can actually do a lot with this gouge. Um, the challenge I was having was getting the bottom of the cuxa bowl clean and uh, I just all I had was this and my Mora hook knife and uh, this wasn't achieving the results I wanted. Especially after seeing all of uh, Alexander Yerk's beautiful cuxas, I thought dang I want to make something like that. So I took the plunge and bought the Nick Westerman Tuka cam, or TWCA cam, and uh, that tool has been a dream. I'll get to it in a sec here. I think I only got 10 minutes of recording. So as you can see, it's, I hope you can see, it's uh, the 2 inch gouge, it's, it's doing pretty good. I got this off eBay and I think I paid like $75 for it. Um, it is a good tool to have with. It would have been nicer if I could find one 
cheap somewhere, a garage sale or whatever. Nobody seems to have these around here. Do a little bit more with the gouge, but let's see if you can see that. Yeah, you can see it. Right. Okay, so um, so I, I I guess I probably just kind of developed my own way of using the um, there's blood um, of the Tuka cam, and um, so I kind of made like a longer handle. It just seems to get a good leverage, and this is just how I'm holding it mostly, and um, I'm just I'm taking a real careful. Uh, slices off. You can almost feel the tool bending. I'm trying to not let it bend too much. Thing with English walnut I've been finding is uh, it really doesn't crack a whole lot. Like, um, unfortunately, I don't have much experience working with birch, but I don't think that cracks a whole lot when you're doing green woodworking. Um, I know guys leave it in the sun to dry, and any other would have. If I've done that by accident, I always end up cracking something. So I'm a little nervous when it comes to sun drying, but. Um, but this, uh, the English walnut is very good with that, with not cracking. So, um, it's just finding it is the, the challenge. My arborist brought it over and said he got some, uh, well first he called it black walnut. We opened it up and I was like, oh that's not black walnut, it's some walnut. So anyways, this is the, um, the tree that bears the common walnut that you actually eat this English walnut and uh, I think it's typically a veneer wood um, I don't know why after carving it I can kind of see that uh, it just carves very nice and um, yeah I guess maybe that's what they need something for the uh, veneer blades or whatever to carve it nice or slice it nice I don't think we're, I don't even think we're 10 minutes into this yet. And uh, I almost got a, a finished bowl. I'll probably have to let that dry and then retool finish it to, um, to achieve a nice uh, final finish. What's your time? 11 minutes. Trying to uh, to kind of undercut my cuxa bowls rather than just having like maybe tapered to the center. I want it to to um, to go underneath just to get a uh, allow it to hold as much as possible. And it just looks cool.
So you can kind of see my, um, I guess, my mostly finished uh, Kaksa. Anyways, you can see that um, the, uh, the Tuka cam makes a very nice finish. Um, when I go over this a final time, um, it's you can make someone think that it's sanded. You'll you'll definitely be able to tell that there's a few little, um, you know, tool marks in there. But um, but with the, uh, the 65 millimeter uh, hook knife from uh, Nick Westerman, it, it's very easy. And that was about 10 minutes. I'll probably spend another maybe three minutes on the um, on the finish. I might uh, might try and let this dry out a bit, um, finish it, and then cut the outside out. So, um, but yeah, I just wanted to share uh, this uh, process because um, I've just been so excited, uh, you know, with my new uh, Nick Westerman tool, and um, yeah, I just wanted to show people because this was one of my biggest challenges, and so basically, like, just in case someone else um, had this challenge as well, just getting a nice bowl gets the bottom smooth, um, and uh, with a razor sharp edge, um, you don't need to sand it. So. Um, yeah, and just uh, I've sanded a few cups, and uh, it's just not nice on the thumbs to uh, to sand the bottom of a cup. So um, yeah, so this is an English walnut, and uh, there you go, there you have it. That's uh, basically all I wanted to show you guys. So um, yeah, subscribe to my channel, check out my YouTube page, um, check out my Facebook. I'm always putting uh, new pictures and of uh, creations on Facebook. Um, my website's lotsofwoods.com. I got a cool portfolio page there. And uh, yeah, this will be done soon. Probably be done uh, by the time this video is posted. So hopefully you guys get to see that. Anyways, guys, take care.